Alright, today we're going to be talking about dividing decimals by a whole number. To do this, there's really only one extra step, but unlike multiplication of decimals, the step occurs first. So let's look at an example to show you what I mean. Here's our example of $99.09 .09 divided by 3. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find that decimal. When we find that decimal, what we want to do is we want to place it in our quotient directly above where it is, keeping it in line. It's almost like another place value in this case. So we're going to, we found the decimal, we're going to put it right above where it is, okay? After we do that, we can kind of forget that the decimal's there and just do a normal division problem. So we start off by saying, how many times is that 3 going to the 9? We know that to be 3 times. And then we take our 3 times 3, and we put it down here, which 3 times 3 is 9. We must subtract, and then bring down our other 9. Again, next, we take the 3 into the 9, and we know that again to be 3. Following the same patterns, we multiply our 3 times 3, and put it down here, which is 9 down to zero. Now remember what I said, you can forget about that decimal. Don't bring down the decimal, rather bring down that other zero. Okay, three goes into zero, zero times, but we have to make sure we put that zero up there. It's very important, it's a placeholder. And then finally we can drop our last number, which is a nine. And then we ask ourselves, how many times does three go into nine? And again, that answer is three. Final step is 3 times 3 equals 9. Put it down here. And we get a remainder of 0. Don't forget your dollar sign up top. So our answer here is $33.03. Let's look at the next problem, which is a two digit divisor. So we have 23 and 10 hundredths divided by 11. So when we're doing this problem, again, the step doesn't change. Look for your decimal and bump it up. Look for the decimal and bump it up. So I'm gonna put my decimal right above where that decimal is currently. All right, now we're ready to just do our division. So does 11 go into two? Since 11 is bigger than two, it doesn't but 11 does go into 23. How many times? Well, 11 times two is 22. So we're going to put a two above the three. Do multiply two times 11. And get 22, sorry right there, that should be a 22. And get 23 minus 22 is one and we bring down that other one. Now, how many times does 11 go into 11? Well, we know that answer to be one time, because one times 11 is 11. And finally, we bring down our last zero. 11 goes into zero, zero times, and we get our answer of two and 10 hundredths. So you can see that division Dividing a decimal by a whole number is really just one extra step in the long division process. Make sure to bring that decimal up first.